Ekaro, Alafia, everybody. It's time. You know it's Wednesday. Time for the midweek recharge. Hey, giving thanks and praise to be together once again. My feathers, Alafia. J Mac, yes, you know the full moon got us going. Alafia, Neo, Alice, blessings. Lori, Alafia, Neo, and Ketchi Modupe. Hey, blessings, Matt, Agorvi, Felix, Nicole, blessings, Anna, Tane, Caro, Danielle. Harry, blessings, Alafia, Yvette, Barbara, Oboatu, Colette, Celeste, blessings, Jess, happy Wednesday to you, Ekabo, Denise, Tabeka, Alafia, Nish, Alia Muffin, my daughter, Hopal, blessings, Ekale, Iawa, blessings, Ekabo, Esther, blessings, welcome, Lori, Oboato, Tony, peace to you, Ellison, Alafia, Nia, hey, Bonnie, Angelica, Grand Rising, yes, so Queen B, yes, let's recharge, we are ready, hey, Alice, Poet AJ, blessings, Ifa Durimu, Troy, Alafia, Ni, Amani, Oboatu, Oboatu, hey, see, my student, blessings, Ola Duni, Alafia Nio, Ekaro. Hey, giving thanks and praise. Hey, we're giving thanks and praise today to our sure. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I picked it up and then I put it down. <laughs> hey, our sure. Hey, yeah. Hey, give thanks to our Shun and all of our feminine divinities today. We are talking about our mother, Yesu. Hey, Ravel, Oboto, Generous, Aminette, Fakemi, hey, Queen B. You can get you what we're going to sell you where. Hey, Oboato, Jenny. Blessings, Aquarian T, Omo Yemoja, be the Oracle, yes, Ariana, love and light, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. We are so grateful, yes, to be together. We give thanks and praise to Ono Dumare to our ancestors and of course to the divine mothers i want yahweh i want yami we give thanks and praise to our divine mothers we know that it is the energy of mother today on this or say he found this or say Oshun Olokun Yemoja, we are touching into the energy of the mother, the energy of the ones they call Awan Iya Mi, Awan Iya Mi, Iya Mother, Mi, Mi or Mine, Iya Mi, Our Mothers, the divine power of the womb. We are in the period of the full moon right now, which is such a beautiful and full energy of creation and of fullness and of moving in and out of cycles and this is the energy connected with our wombs those of us who possess wombs and those of us who came through them which is guess who everybody all right we either have one or we came through one or both so every human being is connected to that energy of creation to that cauldron of creation that we know 
as the womb and that we know also in our tradition as Odu, the place from which everything is possible, the place of all knowledge, the place of all creation. Nothing works without that energy. I want Iya, Finjueye, those of you who have learned your Mojuba, you know that we give honor to our mothers as the ones with the eyes of birds, the ones who can go into the sky and also come down to the ground, who are able to carry messages from between the between and betwixt the realms, the ones who can see everything. You know, mama got eyes in the back of her head. That's what they always say. And so this is one of the reasons why birds are represented presentations of the mothers many birds can turn their heads all the way around especially the owl right and so it indicates this idea of being able to see and being able to feel where others cannot one of the things that is shared with us about the Yami and the mothers this is in praise of our mothers another wonderful title by our Baba John Mason giving thanks and praise to the mothers and one beautiful thing that is said about the energy of the divine feminine which is in all of us understand that that x chromosome right is in every one of us that divine feminine energy is in every person and a part of what that energy speaks to and indicates is what's called emoju imora sensitivity to mm. the needs of the moment mm. emoju imora sensitivity to the needs of the moment right so what does that mean that means that having a sensitivity to what is needed at this time right sometimes we think that just because something makes sense or because it's what was done before that is what's to be done but as we know as we have been facing our challenge with the coronavirus as we have been facing a new way of being together that this emoju imora sensitivity to the needs of the moment hmm, that becomes even more crucial and it's something that uh, our divine mothers as well as earthly mothers have been called on to manage in uh, such a beautiful way as things have been shifting in terms of children being able to go to school and things of that nature. And so I wanted to share just one or, or Riki, one uh, verse that comes from Osa Meiji. Those of you mm. who took the Ifa class, you know that uh, Ogunda Meiji is our quintessential masculine Odu and Osa Meiji is our quintessential feminine energy Odu. And it says, Ekunle, Ekunle for Binrio, Eo Binrin Lobi Wa, Kiawa, Odienia, Oban, Ayeo Binrini, Ekunle for Binrin, Eo Binrin Lobi Wa, Kawa, Denia, Orisha B, Yakosi, Iala Bama Bo. Mm, you kneel, you kneel to women. Yes, a woman is who gave birth to us before we were able to become a chosen person. Wisdom of the world issued from women surely. You kneel to women. Yes, a woman is who gave birth to us before we were able to become a chosen person. An Orisha-like mother there is no possibility of mother is who we definitely always worship ashe 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 ore ye ye so as we prepare to go into our prayer space today we just give the utmost respect and as we close out with our last midweek recharge of the year we have a beautiful representation of motherhood here with us uh, in our Ialode, Shalafia Niya. Shalafia Niya Dupe. Hey, we are always happy to hear that, and we're always so glad for your energy. We just give honor to the part of that mothering in the universe that has sustained us all. That universal breast where we've cried, that the waters that have flowed through as we've shed tears, the waters that have flowed through our eyes as we've shed laughter, the divine portal. And understand again that we're all connected to that portal. That is the first place when we go back to honoring our lineages, to honor. They say that if you want to talk to human beings about a person, you call their father's name. Mm, but if you want to talk to God about a person, you call their mother's name. 
And so that's why during divination, if you've had sessions with Yao or myself, you know that we will ask for the mother's name to call, the call the womb through which you've come. And we give thanks always for that creation. And as we move out of this space, we've moved out of the space of the solstice into the light coming back. We're moving into a new year. This is a time of rebirth. This is a time of newness. It's a time of emerging again and allowing ourselves to be reborn in various ways. And so as we move into our prayer space, we just invite you to pull in all of that energy of newness, all of that energy of creation, the part of you that is Odu, the part of you that has the power of creation in every cell of you, the part of you that has the nurturance for yourself and others in every part of you, that is I want yummy. That is the energy that we tap. Ashe. We tap into the magic. It's the magic in each of us. Ashe. It's the productive and creative facilities in Ashe. each of us. And we just always, always give thanks for that. Of course, we know we can't have anything. No productivity, no life, no womb, no babies, none of that without our most precious element of water we know what to if we won't go wash what they go use oh yeah if they won't cook soup, I tell them what they will use. Oh, it will be omitutu water. So we begin always with our uh, our invocation to water. We say omitutu ashe tutu ana tutu ile tutu tutu laro ye tutu bobo egun tutu bobo risha tutu emi o tutu bobo wa tutu as water is cool. May our divine energy, our ashe, be cool. May ona be cool, the road that we walk upon. May ile, our homes, be cool, and ile, the earth. May they be cool with us. May our ancestors be cool as they teach us. May eshu odaranika and losoro, the one who carries our prayers to both sides of the universe, may he be cool. And of course, we ask for our own ori. Go ahead and touch that ori. We know no matter what we want in life, hey, if we want a house, ha, we gotta ask our ori. If we need a spouse, hey, we gotta ask our ori. If you need that money, yeah, you gotta ask your ori. It is only through ori, only through our own sense and sensibility. Wait, I gotta stop here for one second because. I need us to understand the importance of Ori. I need us to understand that especially if we're new to this path, Ori is everything that we need to be worshiping and concentrating on. There's a song dedicated to Ori that says, Ori la babo aba forisha sile. That means that I would rather throw Orisha to the ground than disregard my Ori. I understand that nothing comes before your own sense and sensibility and this is also why the energy of mother is so important because that initiation through the womb gives us a sense that is where our worry comes into activation and so just please always know that you have sense it doesn't matter how many initiations a person has. It doesn't Asha. matter how many years of whatever, whatever, whoever, Baba this, or that. If what they're telling you does not make sense, sense, common sense, in your mind, if what they're telling you does not feel right in this iori inu in your gut. You gotta let it go. Come on. Listen, know that you have it. As we go into this new year, we are taking our innate sensibilities. Yes. We're taking our sense. We are taking our intuition and all of those things and knowing that we are whole, we are perfect. There's nothing that anyone needs to give us that we don't already sure. have. Sure. We are tapping into ourselves and understanding ourselves. So we just give so much thanks. Hey, Mojubao, Mojubao, Lord Jumare, Abba, Ate, Rere, Kai, Hey, Mojubao, Ti, Ojo, Mojubao, Ti, Oru, Mojubao, Leo, Geri, Afoko, Yere, Mojubao, Umila, 
eleri ipin moju bayi ba ru mole oju ko tun moju bayi ba ru mole oju ko sin moju ba o ka le ni iwo iru mole moju ba ko da moju ba se da moju ba ra ba lo ti fe moju ba wo ni a fin ju eye moju ba igungun ile egungun ba wa se call on your ancestors egungun ba wa se iba egungun we give honor to each and every lineage being represented here this morning yes i say to all of the mothers and the fathers we know that it is our mothers and our fathers who are our isha and it is isha to whom we pay homage before we shall we give thanks and we give praise i say mojuba ori mojuba baba mojuba ye ye mojuba wona la seku mojuba bo 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 ori sha mojuba te shu dara ni ka no soro mojuba baba mi o bata la e pa baba rubo e pa ori sha e pa mole ba mi mojuba o shun ye ori ye ye mojuba sha mo ka o ka bi si mojuba gun ye o mo mari wo ogun be mi o bi o se be ri akoko mojuba o so si o de mata mojuba mo beji mojuba e gbe mojuba bo 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 ori sha ye moja o mi o lo ku o mi agbara o o ya ya nsa e bo 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 ori sha kin ka ma se bo bo mi e pa pa se ni o nsun je kin ka ma se ni o na sun bo lo mo we kin ka ma se ba mi o lo so fun ni kin ka ma se mi e fi ni kin ka ma se ni e so kin ka ma se bo bo wa se ni fe fun kin ka ma se we no means may no harm hurt or danger come so we say king god my shay and the names of anyone we'd like to bring into this sacred circle of protection right now we call on our elders we call on our friends our children we just call protection on each and every one who is listening to the sound of our voice it's just a few of you king god my shay guinevere Precious, Ask Amber, Cynthia, Amani, Sadio, Ravel, Kinka Mache, Sunny, Soulful Connections, Adore, Kinka Mache, everyone listening to the sounds of our voice, we give thanks. We say Kosi, Ku, Kosi, Arun, Kosi, Epe, Kosi, Ofo, Kosi, Olopa, Kosi, Dina, Kosi, Wahala, Rara. We pray for no negativity for anyone who is listening to the sound of our voice. We just give so much thanks and praise. We call in all goodness. Fumani orire, fumani ilera, fumani alafia. Ire owo, ire omo, ire aiku fumbobo wa. Adupwe o, adupwe, adupwe. Ashe, yes, 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 yes. Good thanks. Ore ye ye o, o mi o, all of our mothers. All of our divine mothers and our divine fathers, we just call on you. We give so much thanks. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Ah, you know we are so grateful to have a representation from heaven on earth of the Iami of the power of our mothers here. Fifty plus years of beautiful Ashe to share with us. Yeah, wow. What do you want to share with us today? Bring us a little science. Science, science, science. Good morning and thank you each and everyone for spending your time with us this morning. That's right. It's the celebration. It's the last recharge from 2020 we got all kinds of reasons to be happy Ashe, to be grateful yes. and so this for me is just i just want to take this opportunity to thank each and everyone who supported our work supported me but with your time your energy your contributions your money Ashe. all of the things that just kind words that you would say to us and for us and to yes. us so just thank you for that yes. um uh, one of the two of the things one of the things i want to speak about about is about some of you are doing the and have done the cleansing to uh, Obalua ye to Babalua ye and as you were speaking I remembered um, the importance that when we are doing cleansing in front of any Orisha and you clean your breasts what you're doing is you're cleaning your children mm, come on now and you're cleaning the potentiality mm, of mm, nurturing mm. someone so that's mm. very important you know when we're cleaning off as well as when we clean our womb mm. is the potentiality for yes. us to stay in touch with our ori inu our inner 
uh, in her head. Yes. So um, that just came to me mm -hmm. for that was to understand whenever we're cleaning ourselves, it's very, very important. So if your children are not there or they need or your godchildren or your students, that's what you're doing when you're cleaning your breasts. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, I was told once that if a woman cries and holds her breast, the whole town shuts down and just beg her, do not, please, because at that point we become the Iami. Mm -hmm. We have the potential to turn blood into children, you know, and we have the potentiality to be all that life and society needs to be. So don't ever cry and hold your breast because the whole wahala will come down on that person and on yourself because you owe yourself accountable and responsible to your actions, of course. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to share was the story, one of my favorite stories. Mm -hmm. You know we love the story. About the, <laughs> about the mothers. So you know, the Orishas are just like us. When they walked the earth, they were hanging out with each other. They were traveling they were market women mm, they was kicking just it. like family kicking they're it. kicking it and you have family you have brothers you have sisters and that's how it was all the Orishas are brothers and sisters because we share a common mother and father and so this was like we should say once upon a time <laughs> not long ago not long ago <laughs> Oshu, Yemanja and Oya were as usual very very close mm -hmm. and I know that let me take a little sidebar here a lot of times people and you read articles that that Yemanja and Oya don't get along and all of that there's a whole story as to why is it that they're fed separately mm -hmm. but they get along just fine mm -hmm. just love as a matter of fact the daughters of Oya and for those who don't know the faith of that well this is a good little lesson the daughters of people who are Oya when you receive Yemanja the shrine Kick it. Yemanja take Oya to another level. Mm. Take it to another level. She's like the 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 armor. Mm. She's like the armor to Oya is Yemanja. Very, very, very powerful. Sometimes wow. you can put them together. You know, they don't eat the sacrifices, but in terms of working together as women, mm. those mm. Orishas are like, mm, they go to work. So this is the story about the Pateki, about when Oshun, Yemanja, and Oya ran the biggest market. Mm -hmm. People will come from far and wide because they will come, the things that they were selling were not available with the level that they did. They didn't have the internet, but word of mouth spread faster than the internet. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to push Oral over. and new still. Yes. Still it does. <laughs> yes, yeah, so then, uh, Yemanja was one of what we call today the doulas, right? The woman that everybody called to support the babies and the best uh, midwife. So people would come and ask her and she would go for days and weeks. And when she came back, bags of money, bags of trade goods, things that they would trade with her. So she was known for that. Known for that. Oshun, the baddest tie dyer that baddest worker in brass she mm. was like woo! everybody would see her thing she'll come out and say ah oh she made this oh my god i gotta have one of those so people will come from far and wide to get her stuff right oh yeah she ran the market that's why when you receive oh yeah there's a whole ceremony that goes with getting oh yeah to receive, to work, to make sure that the market, because Oya, people think of Oya like the goddess of the graveyard and that. Oya is the market stallion. Oya owns the market. Yep, by answer. Yes. And so she was known for just running the market. Anything you wanted to, to, to sell in the market, you had to, she was like the head of the guild. You wanted to sell something, you got to ask, run it by her. Mm -hmm. And she'll tell you what price, what's the going rate that she's going to give you. Original stock market. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes. Talk about community and U yes. U U Ujama and we're working co collective economic. We already had that going on. They had These it. three women were 100. And so every day their business was expanding. People used to come from all, all over, from Egypt, from Ibadan, from South Africa, everywhere just looking for their stuff. They had a little brother and his name is Eshu. Ooh. Eshu Odara, you already know. Nika Soro, hey, right? Hey, you already know. <laughs> He's a communicator between us and the spirit world. So, 
they were getting so big and they were just fabulous. They said having all of their things and they got so busy. You know how it is when we're working. We get so busy and our creativity comes up and oh yeah, I decided, oh wow, let's put a stall where we can sell this and let's put another stall and yeah, my jazz, everybody, whatever women got pregnant they were like okay the only one that we want at our bedside is yemanja and she would come and she had the technique of not laying down and having baby but squatting and doing whatever you want to do standing up holding on to a pole whatever it is to just push that baby out. yemanja would just say you got this so everybody knew her way was so gentle mm. and that's why they wanted her and so one day Eshu kept asking, he would come by, they would forget to put his little offerings out front on the market day. Mm -hmm. So you know in Africa, every five, five days it's market day. So everybody go from town to town to buy their goods. People will come and every five days you go to Eshu, you give him his offering to thank him. It's, it's to pay your taxes. That's the highway taxes. And you can't go from one city to another without paying your toll. Mm -hmm. So he's the toll, right? So they're like, okay. So they got busy and they just working, working, working. And she said, hmm, this is odd. They didn't give me anything. Okay, maybe they forgot. And he's doing all kinds of little mischiefs and playing games. They said, can't wait, move, move. And this went on and went on. He said, you know what? This can't go because if if I don't eat, they don't eat. If I don't get mine first, they don't get there. So he decided he went down on the crossroads and started telling people, um, you might want to go somewhere else for your uh, delivery of your babies because Yamaja is so busy, she can't really take care of you. Mm, 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 mm. Oshun, he says, oh, Oshun, there's something happening. You know Oshun, with all of her creativity, something happened and she's not dying cloth. She went on a sabbatical. Oh, not a sabbatical. She was like, then it went, and where is Oya? The market was, all, he said, don't go to that market because the market is falling apart. If you go, some of the roof may fall on your head. So don't go to the market in this particular mm -hmm. town. Yes, you will. My shame you. So people stopped coming. And the three girls were like, what's happening? And this went on for months. Wow. And they're like, what's going on? Nobody's delivering babies and they're not calling me. People are not buying cloth every five days. The market is just falling apart. The animals, the goats are running through the market and tearing up all the stalls. They said, you know what? We need to go and get a reading. So they went and got the dafa. They went to Ifa. They said, nah, nah, nah. I go, I me yo, rumila. Fumi ni dafa jowo ni si si we want it we want right right now so he pulled out his stuff he said hello ladies and then, you know they was all dressed up and stuff they brought him gifts and all of that so he could do the reading right there because they were desperate they know what you know you go in there flamboyant you're gonna get it right there so he did the reading and he told him you know what business doesn't look good well for you they says i know right <laughs> They said, because there's something that you forgot. They said, no, we do every day when my cloth is perfect. Every day they said, you forgot to feed your young, your little brother. Mm -hmm. You have him out on the road telling people when they're passing by, hey, you want to come and get Oshun's cloth? They're the best. All the other people, they, they don't use the right kind of stuff. So you need to come to my sister's stall. Yemonja? Oh, over here. No, that lady over there, when her babies deliver, sometimes they have issues. Come to my sister, Yemonja, and get your babies done. Same thing. This market, you see how clean it is? We even give you a dash when you're leaving, what we call um, pesunia in Panama, where you buy something and you're regular, mm -hmm. they throw a little extra in. He says, she was giving pesunia. <laughs> we don't got the Spanish now. Right. And so, <laughs> oh, worldwide. Yes. Worldwide. So, they said, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Eshu. So they threw this big party for Eshu. They fed him. And you know the rest of the story is that everybody started coming back. Business got good. The girls. And the girl says, yes, the lady says, without Eshu, we are nothing. So we always have to remember to take care of Eshu, no matter how busy we are and how expansive our careers are. And this 2021 is going to be so fantabulous that we have to remember a shoe sort of the the ebo or the reading that came up to, to one of the um um 
priest that I work with is that a shoe you have to feed a shoe the first of the year so feed your a shoe New Year's Day give him something if it's just a little offering give him something when you open up the first so un yes, petito regalito, yes, un regalito para el regua. dale aunque sea un pedacito de pan o un, un cafecito lo que sí, sea I'm going to go to Spanish now. Beans, frijoles, yes, frijoles something, anything. But something. give a shoe and <laughs> make sure that we feed him on the New Year so that when he passes by, he'll be telling, hey, this is where she lives. This is where he lives. And your business can boom. So mm. that was the story I wanted I to share say, today. I love I that say. story. Hello, Jay. You know, we love your stories. And this reminds us, too. Look, don't forget, you don't know who every day, both of us, we get messages from people, we get referrals from people, we get messages saying, oh, you know, this one said you were so great and I should talk to you, and that one said, you know, you never know who's bigging you up in the world. That's right. You never know who is working singing your praises and working on your behalf. Yes. And so this is one of the reasons why it's, it's said it's character that we seek first. Mm -hmm. We have to display good character. We have to pay the cost. To be the boss we can't get so big and think that we don't have to do the little things right sometimes we get so big we feel like we don't have to do the That's little right. things anymore we don't have to pour the water we don't have to say the the or read prayer we got this no 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 eshu reminds us all the time that no matter how far down the road you're always going to come to another crossroads that's right Mm, you're always going to come to another intersection. You always have to pay that toll. And so just remember how we treat people. That is a part of all of this. Because those same people that were singing your praises, hey, guess what, toll? The next day they can turn around just like a shoe and say, you know what? That, that midweek recharge is not so, you know, I told you it was the best thing ever, but now I don't know. I don't know, right? <laughs> So we never want you to say that. So we're just always <laughs> so grateful, grateful, grateful for your energy, for your love. And we just encourage you to always do your work, do your work. And remember that it's the small things that come from the heart that mean the most. Mm -hmm. Give thanks, give thanks. Yes. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. I know you want to share a little a little chat with us uh, okay. today. What, what oh, also, us? this is the full moon. And, yes. you know, usually I do the thing on Facebook and Instagram that you go out to the moon and say, fill them up, fill them up, and ask the moon. Uh, according to Astrorisha, who many of you follow, if not, you should. Uh, according to, to, to Astrorisha's uh, ritual is this, I uh, mean, reading, this is a time for us to be grateful to the moon. So go out and put an offering just of gratitude. You don't have to ask for anything mm. because Yamanja said we have it all. She has filled us up for 13 moons. We have it all. Sure. This is not the time to ask. This is the time just to go and to thank her. Thank Asupa, the, the moon, sure. to just thank her for the, the beautiful things that she's given to us. So I just wanted to make sure that we remembered that. This full moon, because today is the full moon. She started yesterday and is feeling today is the maximum day. Thank the moon tonight Ashu. for protecting your home, your children, your your job, your possession, your friendship, your Ashu. relationships. Ashu. You know, just thank her for everybody that's in your life. Ashu. Ashu. And then don't forget to thank yourself, because sometimes we forget to thank ourselves. Thank you yourself. Got right. Thank yourself for all the hard work and That's dedication. Right. Thank yourself for all the yes. prayers to your yes. Yes. Give yourself Self. credit. Gotta give, give yourself, yourself credit. credit. This is the time to do that. Yes. So I want yes. to say that. Let me see what we're gonna sing today. I guess we'll sing to um Ashun. Okay. Something of celebration. That is just a, a little the verse that you say, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh mama. And that way everybody else can feel it and dance to it. Ashe. Okay. Okay. Uh, we ready. Yeah, me And we fed her this morning. Of course, as always. Yes, we fed the Orisha. This is not just little cantico. <laughs> it's not just a little song here. We fed the Orisha. She's sitting over there burping. Uh, sure. Like I said, this ain't for show. It's not. It's not for show. <laughs> this for go. <laughs> ah, I like that. Oh, yeah, 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 me on shoe. Yeah, well, yeah, me on shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah,
song because I think since it's a time to give thanks we're just going to just pray us into the give us the prayer into it and then I'll just go straight into it yes 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 so let us just take a few deep breaths and relax our bodies truly connect a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth once more in through our noses and out. Last time in through our noses and out through our mouths. Yeah, yeah, be oh, be oh, Apete bio bio shuno Tani ma warubo re re o Arubo titi e ye o Tani ma warubo re re o Ye ye bio bio shuno Ye ye bio bio shuno Anima warubo re re o Arubo titi e ye o Anima warubo re re o Ye ye bi o bi o shuro ye 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 bi o bi o shuro a du pue y a mi fuire o A du pue o ti ti ye ye o Ta ni ma wa ru mo re re o Ye ye bi o bi o tu o ye ye o A du pue y a wa Ye ye bi o bi o tu o no Anima warupo ya o adupo e fungo jo twenty twenty o. Anima warupo re re o ye ye bi o bi o shuno ye ye bi o bi o shuno. Anima warubo re re o Arubo titi ye ye o Anima warubo re re o Ye ye bi o bi o shuno Ye ye bi o bi o shuno Tani ma warubo re re o Arubo Titi ye ye o Tani ma warubo re re o Ye 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 o Ye ye o Ye ye o mama Ye 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 o Yeah, 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 yeah
We give thanks. We give thanks for the divine cradle. Ashe. Ah, for our Mother Earth, Ileogeria Fokoyere. Yeah. We vow to take even better care of her, of you, as Ashe. we come into 2021. Ashe. We just, as we close out this year together, ah, we give thanks. We Ashe. give thanks. Ashe. We give thanks. Ashe. We give thanks. We give thanks. You know, we invite you over to visit us and use all of the medicine visit us at asheiray and at yeyefini.com we also welcome you of course if you have felt blessed by your experience and feel it in your heart to pour blessings back out on our ministries we welcome you to do so at dollar sign funlayo dollar sign yeyefini Yeyefini at bellsouth.net and Fumlayo at asheire.com. Please know that although, of course, we appreciate the donations, as we say, the most important thing, the most precious thing that you have is your time and your energy. And so we are so grateful for all of you who choose to spend your time with us praising and giving thanks and building community know that this is what we love you know that we love this you can many of you say you can feel the love and the energy coming through and that's the biggest and highest compliment that we can ever ever receive we love our divinities and we love each and every one of you we thank you for being with us as we started in 2020 this midweek recharge and we are so grateful to just be able to take it into 2021 we look forward to being back with you to continue to lift up the names of our ancestors to continue to build community together to continue to be here for each other to lean on one another to build friendships to build loving relationships with one another know that this is not just online right we build we yes we have been forced into our places because of what is going on right now in the world but know that we have in-person gatherings we have trips we have so many things that we are looking forward to being able to share once again so that we can come back together uh one-to-one and touch each other's energy but right now know that if your eardrums are being vibrated by the sounds of our voices that we are together we are touching you know that you are not alone out here you are not alone in your practice you are not alone in your worship we are here we are thankful come and visit us those of you who commented on our shirts give thanks this is the new the spirits for me collection from ashe iray so you can head on to ashe iray.com and click shop oh, and you can get many different ones we've got or oh, yeah in there we've got all shun in there yeah moja just dropped yesterday a shoe uh, Ogun, Shango, and more to come soon. So we just, we love to rep for our culture. We love to rep for the spirits. And we just give so much thanks for each one of you. We receive your blessings. We receive all of the love that you share. We just give so much thanks. Give so much thanks for the insight. We see some of you saying you've had breakthroughs Yay. and insights. That's everything for us. Continue to cultivate your ori. Continue to go inside and meditate. We wish you a blessed, blessed, blessed new year. We look forward to sharing the messages with you that come out from the spirits. Remember that uh, Yalode, tell them what you'll be doing on January 1st and then on the 3rd. Oh, yes. On January the 1st, every year for 14 years. Since, what is it? But anyway, uh, 
I will be doing the conducting the spiritual forecast for the world, for the United States, for the African diaspora, and for my personal institute. And so that's on the first. And on the third, my Ask Yefini show will be discussing the Odu, the rituals, what's the prescriptions, and the recommendations for us to have a fabulous year. So on the first, if you have my uh, signed up for my newsletter, the newsletter is not coming out until after the New Year's, so it'll be coming out on the third. So don't expect it on the first because that's the day that we do the Nangare, the salute to the sun, and then we do the reading, the forecast for you. Mm -hmm. So then go to, you know, to yayafini.com and then just join me and on YouTube on January the 3rd at uh, 7 in the evening. I think it is 7 o'clock in the evening. EST. EST. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have me there uh, sharing with, um, hopefully you'll be joining me, to uh, discuss the reading of the year. So thank you so much again. And yes. I'm so excited for this new year coming up. All kinds of new stuff is coming up. I have divination class coming up. Yes. The mediumship classes is starting. Everything is going to bust out by March. Gosh, so I'm so happy about that. And my products will be back soon. So we're nice excited for that because so. that Oshun scrub is everything in life. <laughs> and I know people have been threatening me. <laughs> <laughs> I know none of that. Too. <laughs> like, hey, if you don't bring that they up, they just love yes, it. Like yes. the story of the that and the money soap, the abundant soap. Yes. That thing is a killer. Yeah, so those are coming back soon. So that's those are the things. But I'm just grateful for this year. Just thank you. Mm. You know where we are, where we come from, and what you know. You got to be careful what you ask for. At the beginning of last year, I mm. said, you know, at the beginning of this year, is I, I don't want to live alone anymore. Holla at a girl. Look where I am. Back Gosh, in North yeah, Kakalaki, yeah, yeah. where it all started. Yes. I yes, started yes. here. I went to college in this town, you know, and, and in uh, North Carolina. And then when I made up the biggest transition of my life to bring my children from living in the African village, we came to North Carolina. Mm. And here I am now asking spirit as I get seasoned that I'm back here with my family my son is here and of course my daughter mm -hmm. just loving you thank you for just this beautiful vision Ashe. of getting land where all folk can come live Ashe. Ashe. <laughs> and build some little houses mm -hmm. thank you so much Ashe. that has always been a vision for me and you know Fulayo, Fulayo, that we wanted a place where you know, the seniors, the elders can, you know, the you young people can take care of us. Because, yeah. you know, we special. That's what's well, and that's, special. And that is, that's living the medicine. That's living the medicine. We can talk about it all day. We can yes. talk about community. We can talk about caring for our elders. We can talk about all of that. But we have to do it. We yes, have to do it. Share. There's no I way share. that the people like you, like Yaf Umayo, who have dedicated so much of your time to serving us, should not be served that's that right. you you must so right. it's, it's right. my honor and i'm just looking forward to being able to do even more for yes, even more yes, of our yes. precious elders yes come on elders bring the young people yes in yes to, and you young you know, ones start learn. buying some land get that land and let's get it together let's get it popping and get this wisdom and get all this love so y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. We're going to have um, the Ashe Ire Co-Work Cafe is going to be back after the new year. So all kinds of good stuff is going to be going on. Just come on over to Ashe Ire. Join our song. mailing list. New song. New song. Oh, <laughs> yes. And as we close out, first of all, I got to give thanks to Ia Efunlayo for this because you know we're some recovering church girls. So we got all our church songs in there. So as we close out today, we going to say, Ashe, 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 Back now, I say, I say, I say, I say, I